Ryan and Lisa have asked me to share with you the story of how they met and fell in love. Ryan and Lisa met at a party for the first <laughs> time in 2001. They both had an immediate attraction to one another that was so strong that even that it was noticed by Lisa's cousin Robin. In spite of their feelings, neither acted upon it initially. They saw each other from the time to time and their feelings grew until they went on their first date six months after their first meeting. The two hit it off, spending 12 hours together on their first date, simply enjoying each other's company. It quickly became apparent to the two of them that this was a greater connection than either of them had experienced in prior relationships. They began to merge their lives, enjoying dinners, movies, quiet nights, and holidays together. The two of them have a true and deep connection. They can speak for hours over the phone or in person, neither ever growing tired of the other. On most trips, the two can turn the radio off and talk the entire way and never have a moment of silence. Their common interests and personality have brought them even closer together over the years. They share a love for the outdoors, for sports, and for spending time with family and friends. The feelings and the fun that Ryan and Lisa shared on their first date have not changed. They have grown into the love that brings us here today. It is possible to find true love, to know everything about that person, to tell the other anything, and to always accept and stand by each other. And Ryan and Lisa have found this in one another. Our eternal Father, whose very nature is love, and how, from whom comes every good and perfect gift, look with thy favor upon these your servants, who desire to make their vows before you, and to seek your blessing upon the solemn engagement to which they now pledge themselves. Send down upon them your heavenly benediction. Bestow upon them the gift of your Holy Spirit, that he may sanctify their love and be himself the unity between them. Keep them ever faithful to their holy vows and may they live together all their days in true love and perfect peace. Amen. Will Lisa and Ryan's parents please stand? Ryan, do you take Lisa to be your wedded wife? And in the presence of your family and friends, do you vow that you will do everything in your power to make your love for her a growing part of your life? Will you promise to continue to nurture it from day to day and week to week and year to year from the best resources of your living? Do you promise to stand by her in sickness or in health in poverty or in wealth? And do you promise to shun all others and keep yourself to her alone so long as you both shall live? I do. Lisa, do you take Ryan to be your wedded husband? And in the presence of all these witnesses and family and friends, do you vow that you will do everything in your power to make your love for him a growing part of your life? Do you promise to continue to nurture it from day to day and week to week and year to year from the best resources of your living? Do you promise to stand by him in sickness or in health, in poverty or in wealth? And do you promise to shun all others and keep yourself to him alone so long as you both shall live? I do. Who blesses this couple in marriage? Thank you. Everyone, cash. 
your fires? Since it is your desire to take each other as husband and wife, I have asked you to face each other and join hands and repeat in the presence of this company your marriage vows. Ryan, repeat after me. Look at each other as you talk. I, Ryan, take you, Lisa. I, Ryan, take you, Lisa. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. For sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. To this I pledge thee. To this I pledge thee. My love. My love. Lisa, repeat after me. I, Lisa, take you, Ryan. I, Lisa, take you, Ryan. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. To this I pledge thee. To this I pledge thee. My love. My love. You exchange more than words this day. You exchange promises, hopes, and dreams. The rings which you give one another are outward visible symbols of your vows. They speak of your love and loyalty to each other. As these rings are of precious metal, so let your hearts the, be the most precious possession of your hearts. Each is a circle, endless and unbroken. So let your love, one for the other, be endless and unbroken throughout your earthly days. Place the ring on her finger. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. And all that I am. And all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I endow upon you. I endow upon you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. That's the ring on his finger. Repeat after me. Look at each other. <clears throat> With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. And all that I am. And all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I endow upon thee. I endow upon thee. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thus, you each are to wear your ring as the enclosing bond of reverence and trust. Thus, you both are to fulfill the perfect circle of duty that makes you one. Let us pray. Eternal God, we pray your blessing of grace upon these, your children, now united in marriage. May they know each other as you know them and give themselves to each other as you have given yourself. When they discover differences between each other, teach them to accept them and find in those very differences their greater joy and love. When they are anxious about who they are as persons or as husband and wife, may they discover new meaning in their living together. When they face discouragement and disillusionment, may they have the courage to reveal their inner selves to each other until they call forth from each other's person that which is real and true. May they discover and rediscover the person in each other. Bless them, O God, with the gifts of compassion